Hey guys, today I want to share with you some concern related to Android application development. Basically, if you are intermediate or advanced Android application developer, you should know the pitfall about the security of Android application. The, this will be a two-part video series. So in this episode, we will learn how to reverse engineering Android application. So we will download an APK file from Google Play Store. Then using some free tools, we will reverse engineer the APK file to see the code. If the APK file is protected using any premium software, then we cannot reverse the code actually. So if the code is obfuscated, then it will also be difficult to read the code. But anyway, today we will learn the reverse engineering steps and in my next episode, I will share you how to protect your Android application from spying eyes. Okay, so let's get started. At first, we need to download some software. So at step one, let's download dex 2 jar software from the following link. I will give all the links in the video description. You can just click from there. So if you want to see the code, there is a GitHub link as well. Okay, so here you can see the open source code. So, but you have to download this dex to jar software by clicking uh, this download button. So that is from sourceforce.net. So after downloading the software, just put your software in a directory. So in my case, uh, in my case, uh, in the desktop directory demo three, I put the dex to jar two. That is an unzipped version. Okay, and then. At step two, we need to download JD GUI software. Okay, so from JD GUI software, you, you can find from here java decompiler.github.io that is Java decompiler. So here you can click this download, and there is a diff, uh, different version for different operating system like for Mac OS, for Linux, and for Windows as well. So download this JDG software from here and also put that software in the unzipped version in the directory so in my case i put both these directories uh, dex to jar and jduga in the desktop demo 3 directory okay so after downloading these two software we need to target any android application so in this case i am targeting english score free british council english test software from google play store okay so here you can see the link also i will mention the link in the description so at step 4 we need to download the apk file okay so for this reason there is a website uh, apk uh, region free apk download what you have to do you have to copy this link and paste it in here and you have to click the download so after you click the download it will take some time and you will see there is a download apk a new link is generated so if you click this link the APK, APK file will be downloaded in your machine. So just copy that file and put also in here in uh, dex 2 jar 2 and paste it in here. Okay, so now we are ready to reverse engineering. So let's do it. At this point, open your terminal. So as I am using Mac, I am using my Mac terminal. And if you are using Windows, you may try to use the Windows PowerShell. So in the terminal, go to the target di target di directory. So in my case, what I will do, I will type cd and then copy this dex to jar and paste it in here, the directory in here. Then I will see that that Mac will uh, create a path and I just click enter. So I am now in the dex to jar to di directory. Okay. Now I need to fix some permission for uh, there are you see that in this directory there are some script basically shell script and for windows bat script so in the mac you also need to change the script permission otherwise the thing will not run so what i will type change mod and then 0777 and start so it will uh, give the read and read, writing and executing permission for all the file okay now what i want to do i want to type dot it means the current directory then forward uh, forward slash then i will type d2z dash dex to jar and dot sa so here you will see that dex to jar dot sa so this is the main file you have to run and then what you have to type the apk file name so if i type eng and click tab then the full file name and the path will be uh, automatically written in here then what i have to type i have to just click enter 
then there will be some process happening and basically the reverse engineering will thing be happen and you will get a jar file so it will take some time so i think our uh, reverse engineering thing is done so we already got a dot jar file so now we want to see the code so for this reason what i have to do i have to go to this jd gui and then build then leaves directory and basically uh, in your system you can just go to the dist uh, distribution and install or uh, click to run but in my mac what i have found i can just go to the leaves directory and i can just double click this jdu gui and it will run because uh, in my system java is installed so by clicking the jar file uh, double clicking it will automatically open the window now what you have to do you have to go to this dex to jar 2 directory and just copy this jar file and paste it in here okay now you can see the file structure like this way to click the com here in this case uh, you will see that what third party libraries uh, this app is used also in this app if you click the english score okay english score section you will see the source code of this app so we basically uh, reverse engineering the full app now click any file for example uh, British Council dot class you see now the bytecode is converted to the actual Java code and unfortunately this app is not protected so we can easily reverse engineer this app even this app he uh, also did not obfuscate it so if this app is obfuscated we can still reverse engineering but uh, the code will be harder to read but if you just read the code you see what type of uh, uh, files they, they uh, imported what kind of code they have written you see the actual code okay so unfortunately many android app developer did not know about reverse engineering and spying eyes can easily reverse engineer this app so it is really important to know by all android developers that if you do not obfuscate your app or if you uh, do not protect your app using any premium software then maybe some critical information from your app will be leaked and that will compromise your user so it is very important to know about the security of this app and if you click different class of this application you can see all the code now think if you are an android developer you are developing a financial or banking app and did not use any obfuscation technique or especially for financial type app you did not use any protection then how easy it is for hacker to hack your application or be the security right so this is a technique i have shown you today so you can now know that if you do not protect your app it is really very easy to off, uh, reverse engineering of your android app and there are some other tools using that we can also reverse engineering of any android application if that is not protected okay so i hope you always keep this thing in your mind and in my next video i will teach you how to protect your android apps from spying eyes okay if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and if you have any question just ask me in the comment section i hope to see you again in my next video